All right, there have been attempts for years to bring a remake of the 1976 sci-fi classic Logan's Run back to the big screen with filmmakers like Bioshock creator Ken Levine, Ryan Gosling with his drive director Nicholas Winding Refn, and Alex Garland all taking shots at it. Now, according to a report in The Hollywood Reporter, X-Men Days of Future Past writer and producer Simon Kinberg is going to be developing a script for the project and will also produce the film as well. John, would you be down for a Logan's Run remake with Simon Kinberg? writing and producing. I would. And one of the most interesting aspects about this story to me would be, you know who was like for like three full years was really driving to try to get a Logan's Run movie made was X-Men Days of Future Past director Brian Singer was trying forever to get this movie made. And now that we got Pinberg coming, uh, Pinberg. Pinberg. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pinberg. Pinberg. Um, <laughs> now that we have Kinberg writing and producing, which I think is very encouraging to start with, now that we got him, does that maybe open the door for Brian Singer to come back in after he's done with Apocalypse? I mean, I'm, I certainly don't know. The, the original is such a classic in the sense that it's one of those movies like The Godfather, where once you watch The Godfather, you suddenly are hit with the reality of how much cinema is influenced by The Godfather. You don't realize until you see The Godfather, and now you look at every movie and you see the fingerprint of The Godfather. Logan's run kind of, not to the same degree, but kind of has that same impact in sci-fi. You know, and actually, a lot of sci-fi, I know there were a number of like Star Trek things that took directly from their main premise of ageism at a certain age, you gotta die, blah, blah, blah. We've seen that repeated, but there are elements and themes and styles that they did in that movie Movie that you can kind of sense and see the thumbprint in a lot of sci-fi. The original book is a little bit different. Like the original book, which I think came out in like 1967, was a little bit different. I think in the book, the automatic death age was 21. In the movie, I think it was 30. And they had a few other things, but it's a pretty true to the book kind of story. I think a modern retelling is overdue. And I think in Kimberg's hands, I think it could be really cool. So I'm looking forward to it. They've been trying to do this movie for a long time. Yeah. I was well, I worked at I worked for Joel Silver for about three years, and he had it. Joel had this movie, and they had so many different takes and scripts, and they were trying desperately to get it off the ground, and nobody could crack the code. Right. Um, now, with Alex Garland was the guy that I still would like to see Alex Garland direct it, even if it is with a Kinberg script. But Kinberg producing it and writing it, yeah, I mean, he's the guy right now. He's one of the guys. I mean, the other thing, it may open up the door for Brian Singer, but... Who else does he have a lot of contacts through right now? Lucasfilm and yeah. Disney. He's, I mean, he's doing Rebels. He's, he's rumored to be. Oh, he is. He's involved in the Han Solo or Boba Fett, whatever the anthology movie is. He's, right. he writes with Kasdan all the time. So there are a lot of different people that Kinber could bring to the table to make this happen. And I agree with you. It is time for. I'm not always up for the remakes, but this is one that could use a nice modern retelling. And for a lot of people who have never seen the original or might seem dated to them watching it now it would serve right. And who better than Kinberg, who knows this world right now? He's he's come up. I I'm, I want to see what happens with Fantastic Four, even if it turns out to be not good. I'm still not going to judge Kinberg off it because of all the other stuff that he's been doing right now, because Days of Future Past and what he's done with Rebels. Um, so yeah, Kinberg on board is a good thing. And you know, I, th I believe Joel Silver is also still attached as a producer oh, is he? on okay. that project. So wow. I think he probably sells the rights wow. to it. Yeah, I mean, it deserves a shot, I think, because of, I'm not quite going to say it's it's like the Godfather science fiction movies, but it did have a lot of influence with you have young rebels that are rising up against an oppressive society. Uh, I mean, we talked about Hunger Games in yeah. the first thing. Yeah. It's a, You know, you see Shades of Logan's Run in something like that. Simon Kinberg is the selling point to me more so than a remake of Logan's Run because like you guys said, they've been trying to get this thing remade forever and you, you you, you think about Hollywood, no, there's no more original ideas, which so just bring something else back. There's a lot you can do in Logan's Run, but it's not going to be something like when all the Star Trek fans were upset with J.J. Abrams because they, they thought he made more of a Star Wars movie with the first two Star Treks. I don't think you're going to have that problem with Logan's Run. I think you can take, mm. that you can more pick and choose between the source material that you're like, oh yeah, let's keep that and that and that. We can lose that. that that's a little goofy. He's got more freedom to do yeah. that because I think that you do see more silliness in the previous Logan's Run than you do do in things like Star Trek, and there's not as many hardcore fans that are going to hold you to the fire if you don't get it exactly right. You can play around in this universe a little bit more, and I think that's what Simon Kimberg uh, excels at.